So to carry on what you saw in our opening scene, I'll basically be informing students at UK about the importance of climate change and why it really matters on an individual level. Um, I'm going to be providing you with some scientific information about that and basically just trying to connect how it affects our everyday lives. So first of all, human activity is the main cause of climate change and that's really due to rapid advancements in technology, um, especially in the food and agriculture industry. So all of these emissions that are being disposed of in our atmosphere are basically being collected in the ozone layer and which that basically further traps heat coming from the sun and naturally just raises the average global temperature. Um, so according to the National Geographic our average global surface temperature has increased by 1.6 degrees Fahrenheit since 1906. Um, now that may not seem like a significant amount, but that slight increase will continue to melt glaciers, raise sea levels, and destroy natural ecosystems that at a more rapid rate. All right, so with that being said, I have a graph here that shows the level of CO2 emissions in our atmosphere. Um, and this graph displays those levels um, basically throughout history and for millenniums. And they've been relatively fluctuating up until 1950, uh, which is labeled on the far right. And then above that, there is a current level label. And that basically states where our atmospheric levels of CO2 are at today. And as you can see, since 1950, that level of carbon emissions has relatively remained the same um, amount up until that 1950 time period. And since then, it's safe to infer that technology has made exponential advancements from that time, but that unfortunately caused carbon emissions to just about completely double in just a little over 50 years. So all in all, Hopefully this graph will make people think twice about how we are negatively affecting our environment by the means of rapidly releasing carbon emissions that come from industries like the agricultural food production and that it is possible to counteract these emissions on an individual level by the means of nutrition and changing our diets. The repercussions we are currently facing in a subtropical climate like Kentucky will obviously have some changes in the precipitation patterns which will result in much heavier rainfalls in our northeastern region of the country. And on top of that, I discussed a, um, an average rise in temperature which will cause more humidity and heat waves in our region as well. This could be extremely de detrimental to infrastructure compromised crop growth and agriculture and basically just ex destroy most of the ecosystems all across our state. According to the World Health Organization, climate change affects the social and environmental determinants of health like clean air, safe drinking water, sufficient food, and secure shelter. And between 2030 and 2050, climate change is, is expected to cause approximately 250,000 additional deaths per year from malnutrition and disease. Therefore, all these issues I discussed earlier can directly cause severe individual health problems. And my group members will further discuss ways to not only counteract climate change, but improve personal health as well.